Hey, my name is Drew Young Park. I'm excited to be here with you today. I want to share with you a little bit about myself, why I got started in anatomy, and why I believe that this is a great fit for so many people out there. So a lot of people want to create passive income. A lot of people want to start their own businesses, but it's a very uh, difficult uh, place to step foot in, right? Uh, so here are the three things that I want to talk about. First, if you want to if you want to become successful, right, or if you want to start your own business, uh, you need you need capital, right? So in order to start a business, it usually takes a lot of money, right? And second, even if you have a lot of money, then you have to worry about a product or a service. Who are you going to sell this product to? Um, who are you going to sell this service to? And if you have those things taken care of, then you need management skills, right? So these three things are pretty difficult to um, have a hold of all of it, right? So a lot of people are struggling to look for the right tool. I like to say tool to get started. And I believe that Atomy is a great fit for a lot of individuals because you don't have to have any capital to get started. Uh, you don't have to worry about what products that you're going to source. You don't have to worry about any of those things. And at the same time, at the third thing that I talked about, you don't have to worry about how to manage these individuals that you will be in contact with because the company takes care of all these things. Now, it sounds too good to be true, and I believe the same thing. But as I go into these details, you'll begin to understand a little bit more about um, what I'm talking about, okay? So uh, I believe that there are a lot of young leaders out there who are hungry to become successful, right? So you're working your nine to five, you're working and grinding and saving money and trying to look for, you know, what it is it, what is it that I need to do? And I was in the same position. I was born to a first generation immigrant and my parents moved to the States to, uh, you know, to pursue their American dream. And I was born there and I was raised there, and I've been blessed with the opportunity to learn all these things, right? I was in a household where uh, business and entrepreneurship, it was a very good thing, right? My parents, they did their own businesses, so I was uh, involved in all those things at a young age. But I saw a few different things that they struggled with, and I saw a few different things that many people struggled with in terms of uh, creating a scalable business and a business that can cater to uh, a big target market. At the same time, something that's relevant and able to give value to a lot of people out there. When I met Atomy, I was very um, shocked by the business model. And at the same time, I was very, very uh, surprised by how it can create passive income. Uh, if, you, if you think about these things, then you'll be able to see um, that I talk about active income, and passive income. So active income and passive income, let's talk about those things uh, real uh, quickly. So everything I believe starts with active income. So it's, it's an action, right? It is your 100% uh, effort. So it starts from a scale to one, two, three, four, five. And let's say that scale one is 100% dependent on you. So whatever it is that you're doing, uh, it is usually you who creates that outcome. For example, if you want to get a job, who goes to the job interview? You do, right? You have to put in that effort to go and get that job. And if you have that ability that, to get that position, then uh, whoever the HR is, you know, doing the interview, they'll, they'll evaluate you and then they'll give you that position. After you get that position, then now it is up to you to not get fired, right? To get promoted, to do the things that are required of you to continue to grow in that position. So it would go from one and then it will jump to two. Maybe you become a team manager, right? And then it will jump to three. Maybe you become a department head. So it, it, it depends on what kind of job it is, but it keeps scaling up. For example, you can go this route. Let's say that your end route to creating passive income will be uh, to be a uh, realtor, right? Or not a realtor, but let's say that you want to own your own real estate, right? So you start from one, you work a nine to five, whatever it may be to build capital. And then you get that capital and then you get your first property and then you get a bank loan and then you flip it or you rent it out and then you can get another loan on that and you build and build and build until one day you have multiple properties. Maybe you started out with one and now you have 10 and now you have a property manager and you can uh, create passive income from that, right? So you rent those properties out and then you can pay for your expenses through the rent that you're getting and then your manager can uh, take care of those things and at the same time, you get your passive income, right? We would say. Or, you know, you work your nine to five and you save money and you buy stocks and the stocks pay you dividend. 
and they give you a return of X amount in the next 15 to 20 years, right? So whatever route you go, you had to start with something, right? Is, is the point, right? You have to actively build something and you have to see if what you're doing, if the end goal can create passive income for you. Uh, it's the same thing in Atomy. So when I saw Atomy, I looked at it in terms of, can this business create passive income for me? And a lot of individuals, um, don't really look at that position like that, right? But for me, since I was I grew up in that kind of environment, I always wanted to make sure that the job that I was doing or the work that I was doing, whatever I was involved in, would actually be able to create passive income for me. So before getting started in Anatomy, I saw the products and the products were absolute quality, absolute price. So what does that mean? Absolute quality, absolute price. That means that I can target market a lot of individuals. And the products that they were selling were everyday necessities. For example, everybody watching this video, uh, I'm sure you brushed your teeth, right? I hope you did. So if you brushed your teeth, then that means that you bought a toothpaste and a toothbrush from somebody, right? That means that you gave your cash to the store and they in return gave you these products. So whoever you gave that money to, they made a margin, right? They made a profit off of your purchase. So when I saw Atomy, Atomy was doing the same thing in Korea because I got started in Korea, right? They were selling toothbrushes for uh, 99 cents, right? In Korea, and it's 991 per toothbrush. And when I did the market research, a regular toothbrush of this, just a regular toothbrush cost around a dollar to a dollar 30. And a higher quality toothbrush, like the one that Atomy sold, were anywhere from $3 to $5. And when I saw this, I said, hmm, you know, if I can make a lot of toothbrush uh, consumers, then I should be able to make, you know, a few dollars a month, right? But then I saw that it wasn't just these products that they were giving value uh, to consumers with, but it was a whole array of individual items like shampoo. For example, I fell in love with the shampoo because um, I use wax to um, style my hair and the products that I was accustomed to using, I'm sure you guys all, all know all the brands. I'm not going to name them, but you know, everybody uses the same stuff. You know, it starts with the head and it has a shoulder and so on and so forth. Many different products, right? Um, you know, I would use those, but they would not do the job in terms of getting my wax out of my hair, right? I would have to wash my hair maybe two, three times. And then when I used Atomy's herbal shampoo, it got it out on the first go, right? So when I saw this product, I said, wow, the price is great. The quality is great. This is something that I should really look into. Because whatever business that you do, you have to have a good product. Without a good product or a service, you're not going to get anywhere, right? You're going to be running around in circles trying to recruit new individuals and you'll never make passive income. For example, if you have a new restaurant open, a lot of individuals will come to your new restaurant just to try it out, right? But then if you want return customers, your product has to be good. It has to be tasty. Service has to be good. Same thing with uh, products, right? So in, in Atomy's term, that's why they created absolute quality, absolute uh, price so that you can make passive income from residual purchases. So when I saw that, I looked into it. I said, okay, this is something that I need to look into. And then I saw the compensation plan. Now the compensation plan is where all these things tie together. So first the product has to be good because if the product isn't good, it's not going to work, right? And at the same time, when I looked at the compensation plan, it was created in such a way where I can leverage off of individuals. So this is the ability and effort aspect that I'm talking about. Whenever you have a good business, Let's say that you're creating your entrepreneur, you want to create your own business. You have to surround yourself with people who are uh, usually you want them to be better than you, right? You want them to be you want them to be gifted in areas where you're weak, where you lack. And then your their efforts will become your efforts, right? Now, the difference is that you'd recruit these individuals and then you would um, pay them a salary. And then depending on their ability, their salary may be more or less and so on. But you're not going to be hiring individuals that um, are not hireable, right? That don't have the ability. But in Atomy, here's a special thing. So everybody, A, can be a consumer, right? Because everybody needs to brush your teeth. Everybody needs to shampoo. So everybody can be a consumer. Well, now, the crazy thing about Atomy is everybody who is a consumer is also a business partner because it doesn't cost you anything to get started. Now, if you understand this concept, you'll be able to understand how this leveraging works. For example, let's say that you made one toothbrush consumer somebody who really likes a toothbrush, and then you made another shampoo consumer. These two individuals probably don't really care to do the business, but they really do care about the product. 
And as they use the product, they're going to have thoughts running through their head. When I say, hey, listen, if you introduce other people, you know, to use a product just like yourself, you're going to get a little rebate. And they'll say, oh, really? And as they talk to their network, there are going to be individuals in their network who are interested in starting their own business. They were looking to start their own business, but, you know, uh, cost was too high. Expenses were too high. So they didn't want to start. But when they look into Adamy, they say, what? It's free to get started. So that person that you then introduce, for example, I introduced the toothbrush person. And then that toothbrush person introduced it to their cousin. And their cousin doesn't know me but they really want to get started in Atomy and then they go look up the website and then they uh, watch the videos and then they communicate with me or whatever it may be and then they can get started. So even though I didn't personally sponsor that person, I still benefit 100% from what that individual is doing. Now, this doesn't sound fair in a way, but it does sound fair. Watch. If you, if you limit success according to uh, your personal ability, then it's going to be very difficult to become successful because not everybody has all the necessary skills needed to become successful, right? So you're only as strong as your weakest link is what I want to say. Now, what Atomy does is Atomy allows you to leverage off of everybody in your team, but then they set a cap, an income ceiling. So therefore, you cannot continue to make a bigger percentage. Now, this may sound a little confusing, but this is where the vision is. It's helping individuals who would not be able to get started, get started and leverage off of individuals from the bottom and pushing themselves up, right? When you get started, it's very, very, very difficult. Let's say that you have a big uh, snowball at the bottom of a hill, right? If it was your responsibility solely to roll that snowball all the way to the top of the hill, it'd be really difficult, right? You wouldn't be able to ask anybody for advice. You wouldn't be able to, you know, have the knowledge of creating levers or, you know, putting it on wheels, uh, you know, anything. You, you had to do it by yourself with no knowledge. Then it'd be more difficult. Then what? Then let's say that you had a lot of individuals around you who understood how to use levers, who understood, you know, how you can load this onto a wheel or who understood how to, you know, pull this up the hill or push it up the hill with other people's efforts, then that's called teamwork. Okay. So that's the concept that Atomy created. Atomy created their compensation plan in a way where you can work with your downline to boost yourself up, to create momentum, to get to that income ceiling. That's why there is no sponsorship in Atomy. That's why in Atomy, all the individuals in your downline, you gain 100% of everything that they do because that shoots you up faster than only being able to leverage off of individuals in your downline in terms of people that you personally register. You see the difference? Let's say the only PV that I can get, let's say the only revenue that uh, the company counts as mine is the one that I did. Let's say that those, the products that I sold in my ID, the products that only the people that I registered sold, even though I had a hundred people in my downline because of the efforts of other people, but I only registered five people. So I only leverage off of five people. Then it, the likelihood of you becoming successful uh, would be very low. But in Atomy, you leverage off of everybody. That's why this works, okay? Now, how how is this business different than other businesses, then you have to think about, right? Uh, with the current situation that we're in, right? This is um, April 2020. If, you, if you're watching this video any other time, this is when COVID-19 uh, is been has been an issue and is continuing to be an issue right now. Uh, a lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people who had retail shops, they're closed. Um, a lot of people are in debt now. They can't, they haven't been able to pay rent. They haven't been able to pay for their employees and they're shutting down. Uh, but the beautiful part about my business, Atomy, is I don't have a store. I don't have rent. I don't have monthly fees due. And actually my income has been going up during this time because people have been shopping online more. People have been, my hemohem sales have gone up. My vitamin C sales have gone up. All these product sales uh, for health food supplements have gone up during this time. And will continue to go up because I get to leverage off of my downline at the same time. My business is not just in Korea. My business is all over the world. So this is the beautiful part about this business. You're not, you're not, 
you're not tied down to your location. You're not tied, tied, tied down to your city and you're not tied down to your personal ability. So this is the vision that Atomy has. Now, as we create these things, uh, you'll begin to understand your target market. Everybody that you meet brushes their teeth. Everybody that you meet shampoos their hair nowadays, right? Everybody you meet takes care of their skin, moisturizes, uses lotion, things like that. So this product works for everyone. At the same time, the product that we're using um, is absolute quality and quality and price. So therefore, you'll be able to target a lot of individuals. So that's the first product aspect. And then the second part that I touched upon is uh, the ability to do this. That was the second part, right? The first part is free capital. And then the, the last part that I want to touch upon is the management aspect, right? So a lot of individuals who are in your downline, they're not doing, for example, they're not working to make you money. They're working to make themselves money because this is a independent business, right? And as my, as the individuals, for example, let's talk about me, right? Uh, just like everybody else who has been introduced to Atomy, they're introduced by somebody or, or they saw a video and they registered for themselves. But for me, uh, I was introduced, right? Somebody told me about it and I watched the videos and I used the product and I said, yeah, this is a future proof business. Let me get started. Now, when I got started, I started building my business for me, right? I didn't start building my business for people above me, right? It was for me. I wanted to build my business and help my people down in my downline, right? So as I got started, it didn't matter if the person above me quit. It didn't matter if they didn't help me because I was the one who was building my business on my own. And you work directly with the company. So it doesn't matter where you're registered in Atomy. It doesn't matter where your sponsor is because in this business, you have the ability to work with the company and the company will give you product resources, videos, and things of that nature. And they'll also do one day seminars. They'll also do success academies. And these are seminars the company runs and pays for where you can be a part of for free. That's the beauty of this business. And even this online video that you're watching right now, uh, you didn't have to pay to watch this video. It's all free. The company uh, structures everything and they plan everything and then they get started and then they make the video content and then spread it out to all the viewers out there. That's the beautiful part about this business, right? So as we're doing this, um, I want everybody to see this situation that we're in as an opportunity to really grow your business. There are so many people home right now. So you can use online applications to video conference with them. And as you video conference with these individuals, you'll be able to see um, how uh, it's easy to communicate with so many people nowadays. And as you do this, you'll be able to see that, yes, they're stuck at home, but our business is online so they can receive shipments. And at the same time, they can contact other people at home and have meetings. And then you guys can have group meetings and group sessions. So this is the new norm, I believe. I believe that this is um, an eye opener where a lot of people were already doing this online. For me, I was doing online seminars and video conferences already because my partners live all over the world. So I wasn't always limited to just my city. But now this opportunity shows you how a global business like Atomy can be very, very appealing to a lot of individuals. There are lots of young leaders out there who are really hungry to become successful. Uh, India just opened, China just opened. And as India, as they're growing, I've talked to so many Indians who are hungry to become successful, to break out of their situation, but they don't have a lot of different uh, opportunities. And this online business opportunity called Atomy is just something that they, that has started a burning passion inside of them because they can see that they can become very successful in it. Now, the analogy that I like to use is this. Maybe this will work with you or not, but this is the mindset that I have. A lot of people ask me, they say, you know, in some of the countries, the product is expensive, right? They say it's not absolute quality and it's not absolute price. And I think that's very true. Um, it's absolute quality and absolute price to an aspect, right? In terms of you cannot divorce the two. So yes, there are cheaper products than Atomy. Of course. Yes, there are more expensive products than Atomy. Of course. Yes, there's higher quality than Atomy. Of course, there's, there's lower quality than Atomy. Yes. But the products that we're selling, we want to marry the two. So absolute quality, absolute price, they're tied together. Meaning that for the quality that you're getting, you will not be able to pay this price. Okay. So remember that. And at the same time, as you're remembering this, you have to think about who your target market is. 
For example, yesterday I was out at the beach and I was with my kids walking around and I saw a Rolls Royce uh, dealership. How many of those uh, salesmen do you think drive Rolls Royces? That's something that you need to answer. So do you have to drive a Rolls Royce to sell a Rolls Royce? I don't think so. I think business is very simple. Okay. If you, if you want to get started in a business, you have to first think about, do I have capital to get started in a business? Right. You can think in, you can, you can think like this. I want to be very blunt and honest, right? Um, you can think, oh, I don't want to do that business. I would rather do, I would rather uh, franchise a McDonald's. Okay. That's fine. So do you have the money to franchise a McDonald's? If you don't have the money to franchise um, whatever big company that you want to be a part of, then why are you comparing that to something that you wouldn't be able to do anyways, right? So that was how I thought, right? If, if I could do a different business, for example, if I had millions of dollars, yeah, I would love to just put my millions into the stock market and just get dividends and live off of the interest. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? But I didn't have millions of dollars to do that. But Adamy was my stepping stone to get me to that, to become a millionaire, to do those things. And that's what you have to think. So how many businesses can you be a part of today that's free, right? You can be a YouTube star, right? But how are you going to make the content, right? Everybody can have a YouTube channel. Everybody can have an Instagram a feed, whatever it may be, you guys can get started. You can start with your drop shipping, your affiliated marketing. You can do all those things. Now, the question is, even though you get started doing these things, do you have the ability to create good content? Do you have the ability to create new followers? Do you have the ability to create a website and to create traffic so that you can start affiliated marketing? Do you have the ability to do these things? Do you have the capital to do these, to do these things? If the answer is no, then stop debating on why you should be doing that business instead of this business. What you should be debating on is what can I do today? And if I, as a consumer, can be satisfied with buying my own toothbrush and toothbrush and gaining personal PV and then helping other people to do the same and seeing that the product is actually valuable and seeing that there's no monthly purchase requirements and that there's no rent, right? There's no expenses in Atomy, then Tell me why you shouldn't get started just because a lot of individuals have a negative uh, implication with this business, right? So this is what I said when I got started. I said, listen, a lot of people told me you'll never become successful because this business is not modeled in terms of a regular business. That's what they said, right? They said everybody frowns upon network marketing businesses. That's fine. And I said, okay, that's fine. Um, so my question to them was this. I said, listen, do you brush your teeth? And they said, yes. Okay. I sell 99 cent toothbrushes. Uh, would you be willing to buy that toothbrush? And they said, yeah, it depends on the quality. I showed it to them. They saw it and they said, yeah, this looks good. And I said, listen, we also sell toothpaste, right? The regular toothpaste that you're using uh, does not have the propolis and the green key extracts like we have. And the price is pretty much the same. So you should try it. And they said, all right, let me try it. So after they tried it, they came back to me and they said, listen, these products are great. And I said, exactly. This is a simple business. I'm just selling you a product, right? And if you're satisfied with it, then I've, I've successfully created a new consumer. And this is the business model. And it's, it's built like a MLM because that's the only way to give back the company's 35% revenue back to the consumers and back to the business in the IVOs. And that's the only way that you can actually structure your way to become successful for individuals like myself who lack ability to create their own toothbrush, to create their own toothpaste, to create their own employees. Like I don't have the funds to do that. I don't have the funds to uh, buy hundreds of thousands of toothbrushes to match the Atomy toothbrush price, right? I don't have the funds to do that. If you have the funds and ability to uh, purchase in bulk, thousands and thousands of items and then turn around and sell it to uh, retail shops, then more power to you. Then you shouldn't do Atomy. You should be doing that business, right? But for me, I didn't have the ability to do that. So therefore, a small fish like me, how can I get started to build myself up to a different business? And this was the answer. So now, yes, um, because of Atomy, I've been able to you know, pay off my house, right? I've been able to start my 
Uh, I've been able to invest in stocks. I've been able to um, do all these things, right? Um, I, I'm not in debt. I own, I own everything outright. You know, at 30, I was already um, creating enough income to be a millionaire, right? So these things only happened because I was able to put down my previous biases towards um, network marketing companies. And I was able to actually look at this business as a business. So I encourage everybody watching this video today. Uh, look at this business as a business. It's a very simple business, right? Um, it's a, can you get started question, right? So can you get started means do you have capital, right? Do you have ability, these things, right? If you can get started, then okay, you have that part taken care of, right? For example, if I wanted to start my own McDonald's, I can't get started. I don't have the money to do that. So that's not even a question that I can ask myself, right? At that time, right? So, so now, yes, okay. Okay, I can get started. Now, if you get started, who are you going to sell it to and what are you going to sell? You know, who is your target market? So, for example, if I'm going to be selling Mercedes Benzes and BMWs, I need to know who my target market is, right? But for me, I'm selling toothbrushes and shampoo. So who's my target market? Everybody with hair and everybody with teeth, right? So I can market myself to so many other individuals. And then at the same time, will those individuals become repeat customers because of the product's value and price? And that's the question that you can ask by doing market research in the market. And for me, it was yes. A lot of individuals would desire to become uh, consumers and they'll continue to do so. Now, at the same time, when you satisfy a need and when you bring value, those consumers become repeat customers. And at the same time, they bring new customers in, right? They bring new customers in, right? So if you go to a restaurant and it's really good, next time you want to bring a friend and you want to, Get them to taste the food with you because you want to share, right? Sharing is caring, right? So you want to share your um, experiences. And that's what I've been able to see with Adam. As people share their experience with the shampoo, like I've talked to different salons and they, you know, use their really expensive shampoo. But then when they use Adam's, they're like, wow, this is so good. And as they use that, they're able to share with their consumers, their salon consumers, right? And then they start the business without even knowing that they started the business and it grows in that way. And then the next part is what you don't have to worry about the management aspect. You don't have to worry about what product am I going to source next? What new line of product do I have to create now? Um, what seminars do I have to do next week? You don't have to do any of these things. The company already builds all the product base. They already, they already do the research and then they source everything and then they launch the new product for you to use. And then you don't have to do any seminars because the company does everything. So for individuals who are looking for a job, uh, looking for opportunity, whether it's a part-time gig, whether if it's a full-time job, whatever it may be, um, I really want you to look into Atomy because this business is something that everybody can get started without any expense and they can build their consumer base. Now, does that mean that this business is going to be uh, very easy, like free money? Of course not. Everything in life requires effort, right? Even if you want to win the lottery, you have to go out and buy a lottery ticket, right? You can't just sit there and say, I hope I win the lottery one day. No, you have to put in your effort. So in Atomy, your effort is what? Using the product and sharing it. Now, as you get started in sharing the product, of course, you're going to run into walls, right? You're going to run into uh, the basic mindset. Maybe before watching this video, you had the same perception. You said, oh, I'll never do network marketing, right? But then after you watch this video, you're like, oh, like if he's saying if it's free, then why not? If the product's good, then why not? Yeah, it sounds legitimate. Sounds right. So that's the way that he, those people would think until they listen to you and your explanation or the video, right? So that's how you can get started. Okay? So I encourage everybody who uh, watched this video today, please think about the basics, the basics of Atomy, if it's something that you can do, right? Not if you want to do. So a lot of people, you know, I don't know if this is a very good analogy, but for me, right? I believe that a lot of individuals work a nine to five and they don't go to work because they want to go to work. They go to work because they have to go to work, right? Now, even though you have to go to work, um, you can still make it the best. You can make the best out of what you have. I think that's called you know being optimistic, uh, being positive. And as you do that, you can change that around, right? You can change that around 
and you can start thinking about that business, I mean, that job as a gift and being thankful for it. Now, for me, Adami, everything was not easy for me, but at the same time, it was a gift. It was a free business opportunity for me to get started, and I just had to build thicker skin, and I just had to understand how to approach people, and I just had to understand that the value that I'm giving them, right? It's not you going up to that person trying to sell a toothbrush. It's you talking with them to see how this business and product can actually benefit them in the future, and that's the key, right? So after watching this video, I hope this helped a little bit. Um, I hope that you are able to really uh, become successful in anatomy, and I hope to see you all soon. All right. Bye.